As we approach the fall, many producers will be weaning calves and vaccinating those calves for preconditioning programs or prior to shipping them to stock operations or feedlot operations, as well as it's very common in the fall to do cow herd vaccinations for your mature cows and replacement heifers. One thing we want to think about when we're vaccinating cattle is prior to that, that we make sure we handle those vaccines properly so that we get the best efficacy we can out of them possible. So whether you purchase those vaccines from a local veterinarian or a local feed or form supplier, um, you want to make sure that when you go pick that vaccine up that you take an ice chest with you and some cold packs with you in case whoever you're purchasing that vaccine from doesn't have cold packs because we want to make sure we keep that vaccine cool on the drive home with us. And then when we get home, we're going to store it in the refrigerator and we'll talk about that in some more detail here in a minute. But the other thing we need to keep in mind is let's say we ordered those vaccines from an online supplier. We want to make sure that when those vaccines are shipped to us, first they should be shipped overnight, okay? But we also want to make sure they pack those properly in cold packs if it's during the uh, heat of the summer or when it's warmer. Um, and then when you get that vaccine, make sure it's still cool. If those cold packs aren't cool and that vaccine isn't cool, then you need to look at uh, contacting that supplier and shipping that vaccine back to them. The other thing to think about, although it's not a big problem in Texas, it can be at certain times of the year, is if the weather's really cold, instead of cold packs, we may need some kind of uh, just an insulated ice chest to keep that vaccine in, to keep it from getting too cool, or we may even need a bottle of warm water to put in there, a uh, shipment, or some, something other, some other method we can take to make sure that vaccine doesn't freeze on us. So once we get it home, we're going to store it in the refrigerator, and we want to keep that vaccine between 35 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit at all times before we get ready to use it. A lot of people will store that vaccine in a refrigerator out in the garage or out in the barn. And there's been several recent studies done by the University of Arkansas, for example, or um, Idaho, a group out of Idaho as well that have found when they put temperature uh, loggers in those refrigerators that a lot of refrigerators, especially outside, don't keep that vaccine in that temperature range we want to. So what I generally recommend to most producers is to go ahead and keep that vaccine in the refrigerator you have in the house where we can control that temperature a little bit better. And even within that refrigerator, pay attention to the top versus middle versus the bottom of that refrigerator. And generally speaking, somewhere in the middle is going to be the, the best place to keep that vaccine. Then what we want to think about is that we get ready to use that vaccine is when we go out and we're shoot side, we want to have an ice chest, whether it's a soft sided one like this or hard sided, that any vaccine we're not using we can keep in here in cold packs to keep protected from the heat as well as the sunlight. And then when we're getting ready and we draw that vaccine up in a syringe, so like a multi-dose syringe like this, is between each injection, we want to make sure we keep it cool. So this is one design you can use. This happens to be uh, just a five-gallon bucket with a lid on it where we've drilled some holes in the lid. So between each animal, we can take and drop that syringe in there. And that protects it from sunlight. And then we would also put some cold packs in the bottom of here to help keep that cool as well. The other nice thing about this setup is help keep, it helps keep that syringe clean and you can put it in a spot that's very handy for you. If you're using a sink bells plastic syringe like this, you would just want to make sure um, that you keep that vaccine in the ice chest between uses between each time you draw it up in this little syringe. And don't draw a dose up and set it out in the sun or set it out on the table and, and go gather up some more cattle. We want to make sure we keep it cool as well. And so if we'll do these things and pay attention to that, that will help our vaccines work much better when it comes time to vaccinate our animals.